The time of the sword and the axe approaches. A white seed burst into flames. Brr! And stuff. Who exactly are you? And be straight with me, comrade. Who exactly are you? And be straight with me, comrade. Temerian intelligence. I execute the king's direct orders. I find traitors, rats, and foreign agents. I'm a spy. A highly placed spy. I can't deny it. May I ask a personal question? The amphibians you're after, are they a personal matter or an ideological one? Both. Both. Care to explain? They robbed me and killed a friend. They're criminal, evil. Salamandra upsets the balance. As a witcher, I can't ignore that. Got it. Thank you for being candid. Who exactly is DeWitt? Who exactly is DeWitt? And what is he doing here? That Nilfgaardian dog is a mere pawn. I cannot fathom why Ada tolerates him. Explain. Like most knights of the Order, he worries his dick's too small. So he gets aggressive whenever something scares him. Then, of course, he's a Nilfgaardian. Ah, huh. Princess has some weaknesses, but stupidity is not one of them. Maybe the Princess has a game of her own going. Then she should choose better allies. Unlike chess, this game claims lives. I'm afraid someone might be using her. Is Luvardin somehow involved? I need to get Irk in a private meeting with him. At present, his intentions are a pure riddle. To me, too. Really? What do you mean? Your friend seems to get along famously with Livarden. For two strangers, they certainly have much to discuss. See for yourself. I trust Triss. I suppose you know her better than I, but don't say I didn't warn you. Regarding Luvarden, we know he had some transnational organization of merchants, bankers, and other wealthy folk. Make what you will of it. Why do you want to draw me into a game that doesn't concern me? This game concerns you more than you imagine. You mean to tell me you're not interested in the conflict between the Order and the Scoia'tael? You mean to tell me you don't care? What about your lover, Triss Merigold? That's private. I want to destroy Salamandra. That is my only objective. Salamandra has a patron. Someone in this room, or one known here. You're up to your ears in this, Wolf, whether you like it or not. Excuse me for a moment. We'll talk later. Heavy stuff, heavy stuff. The wit turned out to be the sworn enemy of Tyler, the chief of Temerian Intelligence Service. Is he already drunk? Witcher, you may approach. Duet, fetch me some wine. From that page boy at the end of the room. Your Highness. We may speak freely now. Geralt, tell me about witches, and please, don't hide behind your code. What are you asking, milady? What is your view on politics? To me, politics is like an encounter with a lover. Would you agree? Um, the back and forth thing to arguing the similarities are evident. The similarities are evident. Allow me one jest, Witcher. Very well. A countess said to a count, Shall I have dinner served? What a waste. Perhaps we might go for a walk. What a waste. May I ask a riddle then? Very well. What is warm, hairy, and dives into holes? A cock. Not at all. A mouse. A mouse in a cunt. What a waste. <laughs> I 
I, I don't know what to say to this situation. Am I supposed to laugh? Haha. Uh -huh. Or what a waste indeed. <laughs> Never mind. Back to our lovers ambulating about the room. You see, Witcher, politics is not unlike a tryst. It begins with foreplay, glances, conversations. Behold that witch with Louvarden. Now look to our noble Urkin in the courtiers. The dance grows bolder, fondling and such. Then, one is consumed by the desire to come together roughly, like animals. Finally, one is left with sad, passionless copulation. Velarad and Duet, for instance. <clears throat> Excuse me, your highness. Sore throat. We are adults, Geralt. We both know the desires of men. <laughs> you may be right, your highness. Power, sex, sex, power. They both come down to one thing. Fucking others. You may be right, your highness. Power, sex, sex, power. They both come down to one thing. Fucking others. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Go on. What is the king's stance on this topic? I mean, politics, of course. Ugh, dull. I have grown hungry, and there is naught worth eating at this feast. I tire of partridge tongues and caviar. Hmm, what do I most desire? I have it. I will answer your ever so dull question if you bring me what I most desire. I shall return shortly, your highness. I shall return shortly, your highness. Valorat has to know. I'm listening. What does the princess like to eat? Find me a stronger drink and we'll speak. Will do. Um... Fruit's I have it. Dry. Relax, Burgermeister. I'm listening. I have to drink. Tamarian rye. Ah, much better. The princess had a hard childhood. It left her with a penchant for raw meat. We tried to keep that quiet, but... Uh... I see. Anything else? Tala's angry. <laughs> His intelligence agents <laughs> scour the realm to fetch her treats. <laughs> Thanks. Geralt. Any idea what the princess's favorite dish might be? We have to know shit like that. As special agents, people of the shadows. Calm down. What's the dish? Tala does nothing for free. Go to the next room and fetch the letter from the box with the Temerian coat of arms. Be discreet. But? Then I'll tell you Ada's favorite dish. La 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 la. The princess is a captivating beauty. So it's not red. Unknown oil. Oh, what the is going on? Why are you here? Huh? I, w I was looking for the privy. In that box? Point for you. Truth is, I was hoping for a superior drink. The wine does taste watered down. I found some liquor. Try some? Gladly. Okay, okay. Yes. Oh, more? Shit. God dang it. Now I'm drunk. Gar. Okay. Sideways, sideways is the answer. Don't, don't, 
Yeah. How'd it go? Here. Smoothly. Here's the letter. You'd make a fine agent. I exaggerate. A goat would be just as good. Start talking. What's Ada's favorite dish? Cataplepus. What? Some time ago, this maniac who looked a lot like you arrived in Visima claiming that nothing surpasses finely prepared cataplepus meat. You're joking. Not a bit. Since then, my men have been hunting cataplepus throughout the continent in secret. At market, it costs more than a good whore. How's the meat prepared? How's the meat prepared? That's the Burgermeister's business. I smuggle in cataplepus, but I wouldn't know how to cook it. And the Zerikan market is the future of commerce. Oh, I forgot to read the note. Dang it. Ah, much. I see. Tala's ang. Thanks. The food will I disappear soon. Ah, I see. Tala's Thanks. Alright, so. Tris. Walk. Geralt. Ah, this is important, Triss. What's important? Ada knows something. I think I can get it out of her. Really? That spoiled little vixen, well, she wants some cataplepus. Rare would be best. Are you kidding? No. Triss, could you conjure up something, please? Sorcery at parties is considered very unseemly. I'll create a distraction. I'll do better myself. Cataplepis steak. Rare for the princess. Thank you, Triss. You know I can conjure up orgasms, too. I think I prefer traditional methods. I'll find you after I've spoken with Ada. Okay. Do you have some... Steak tata of cataplapis, raw meat with a pinch of pepper and an uncooked yolk. Here you go, your highness. Steak tartare of cataplapis, raw meat with a pinch of pepper and an uncooked yolk. You know how to please a woman. Oh, yes, I It do. is an honor to serve you, your highness. I shall grant you a private audience. Come to my alcove in five minutes. We shall dabble in politics. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it can't be. Seriously, is Geralt just such a dude that he can just get any woman whenever he wants? Uh, let's close the door. Not so hasty. <laughs> Finally, politics it shall be, but quietly. We should not be heard. Ho ho ho, folks. Cliffhanger. <laughs> Alright, folks, uh, leave a comment and tune into the next one.